Okay, I'm Rich Falcone, that's Max Hillman. Um, I'm pretty much the lead instructor down here in the skeet program. Actually, we run the, the whole skeet program you see here. As we go around, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you sort of how you uh, use your shotgun. Okay. I'm going to try and teach you how to track a target, the same you would as a bird. This is what the game of skeet was actually adapted for, was to be a precursor to go out in the field. Again, if there's any questions at all, stop me. Okay. We got, I think, about what, 45 minute window? Yeah. So that's that's quite a bit of time. Okay. So if you go over there by those buckets, I'll be right there with a controller and some shelves. How are you? Come on up here, fellas, so everybody can hear me. Okay, make sure your safety's on. Now, when you mount the car, just like I told you, put that gun in the crook of your shoulder, get your elbow up a little bit, bring the gun to your face, Sam. No, nope, don't bring your face to the gun. Bring, no, 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 Bring your gun to your face, okay? That's where you go. That's where the target's going to be. It's not going to be down here. You bring the gun to the face. Now you come down. The target's going to go out, stay underneath it, and break it. All right, you ready? Bring your safety off. Yep. Say pull. Pull. Roll. So we did that. My right, low house. Come down to the bottom of the window, back. Uh, Sam, come down to the bottom of the window. About ten foot up, right there. Both eyes open. Head down on the gun. Call for the target. Stay underneath in front and break. It. Oh. More high. Any questions? Oh. I think he's did that once or twice. <laughs> oh. oh. You can tell he's been there before. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Sam works for me in here. He's, he's one of the fellows helping run the cage. So he's been around here a little while. Okay, next. <clears throat> have any questions? Just, just stop me. Just say, Rich, hold it. Boop. <laughs> he perked right up. <laughs> All right, stop. We have a gun. That gun just got to go right there, okay? Mount there. Up, up. Keep your head where it is. Now go to your face with the gun. See, see how that feels? Face with the forward. That's it. You want to coddle that gun. Okay. So now, yeah, you can move that gun anywhere you want. And your head's right there, okay? okay. So come up to that stake, about 30 degrees, right there. That's how it should look like. Okay, take your safety off and break it. Gun up. Okay. Alright. Any idea what you're doing now? Alright, bring that gun up. Let me show it now right up to your face. Don't bring your face to the gun. Forward, bring your face forward. Way forward, way forward. That's it. 
Off of the target, stay underneath it, hit break it. Keep your head down. Work to work. Alright, low hug. Alright, face forward though. Get your face forward. There you go. Go south to the bottom of the window. How about that feet? Look right in the window. Watch the birds come out of the window. Stay underneath it and break it. Look at look at the other front half. Both eyes open. where it was. Shoot where it's going. Get in front of it. Safely with your sh with your hunting present or breaking clay targets. You gotta get in front of the target to break it. Alright. Okay. Face forward. That's it. There you go. Real quick you pick it up. Nice. Any questions? This is a perfect day for mist netting. The net is hanging straight up and down, no movement. You don't want wind. If the wind, this thing is this wind, this thing is doing this, and the birds see the movement. But this is perfect. So the birds don't see this at all, they fly into this, and hopefully it's tangled here. So just come along here and let follow me and <coughs> stay away from the net as far as we can. Lead up. Thank you. This is what they look like when they get caught. You hunters all know what this one is, right? Lands on your gun barrel. Oh, yeah. Friendly black tap chickadee. Okay. And this one. Okay, now when you ask a question, if you look here close, this bird is banded. Okay, there's a band over here on this side. See her in the net? Okay. Now what I do with this bird is I record this band number when I uh, when I get back get him back to the, the sheet. Okay, he is a mess. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's he's really a mess. I seen him and I'm like, oh, what happens with chickadees is, first off, they don't help you. Their, cl their claws are hooked, and they won't let go. They just keep their claws all the time hooked in there. And like I said, I don't think, I think I'm going to wait until I have more time to take him out because I want to ban some birds for you guys. But this bird is banded, and what, what I do, if you look on his leg, there, there's oh, the band it. showing up right oh, there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so what I'll do is I record that number. And then I go back home and look at my paper data, see when I banded the bird, it recorded as a recapture, and then I keep that data. So we got another great cat bird. We had a great cat bird earlier. We only got one bird banded on the last session because we didn't have the time. And uh, these are the bird bags that I use to put the birds in. Okay. Now, this is a, a 1A band. I know that great cat birds take a 1A. There's the 1A. The rubber band is my idea. Bands come from the Fish and Wildlife Service in a, on a piece of wire. What I do is I take that piece of wire, there's a hundred bands on there. You'll see all these bands that are floating along here all have a different number. This catbird's life is going to change today because he's not going to be any longer just a great catbird. He's going to be a great catbird and he's going to be number such and such from the rest of his life. So now I take and I pull this rubber band out and I take one of these bands off. And it pulls over the rubber band and the rest of it just flies back. The other bands can't come off. This band, you'll see, is a perfect circle right now. I can't get that band on his leg. It's a perfect circle. So I have banding pliers. You can't band a bird without banding pliers. So what, what you do is you got banding pliers and you got a pin on top of the banding pliers. And you got pre-drilled holes. These are all for certain size bands. And the hole on the end of this one is for a 1A band. So what I do is I take this closed band and I put it on here and I put it over top of that pin. Now I simply take and I move the pliers in the opposite direction and if you'll look you'll see the band opening up. Now the band is opening up. Now there's a number printed on the outside of this band and Kimberly's going to write it down and it's the number the next one down from the other one Kimberly okay? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make a difference if I band left or right leg. Band any either one you, you want but I'm here by myself most of the time. Easy for me to do this. I got the bird, I got his left leg out, I got control of his left leg, and I stick his leg in through that hole and get it in there with the band around his leg. Now, you see the pressure I'm putting on this banding pliers. I can't hurt the bird because I can't squeeze it any tighter than what the banding pliers will allow me. So I squeeze that on there tight, let up on the banding pliers, and the band has been installed. Perfect circle on his leg. 
it floats on his leg and it's on that bird for the rest of his life. So the bottom line is we got everything we need off of that bird, right? Now, you see the way I'm holding this bird? I do it just casually. I don't even think about it. This, this is the proper way to hold this bird. I can hold this bird for an hour and not have any hurt on this bird. There's a secret to do this. I'm going to show you. This bird, I take his feet and I put it between my, my two fingers. The secret to this is where my thumb is. My thumb is here in the back and it's up against the joint. So when that bird twists and turns and flaps, I have pressure on his feet and with my thumb, he can't break a leg. Okay? Put your, your right handed? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Put your other finger. Here. Now you can hang on to that that bird forever. Yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna take out a different one. Okay. This one. <sighs> Is a Swainson thrush. This is in the thrush family. This bird is not going to match up exactly like the bird book, but it's going to be very close to it. They're the thrushes. I'm going to put this. I'm only going to spend this little bit of time with them. There's the thrushes in the bird book. So five, there's five different kinds of thrushes. The one we're fooling with is a Swainson. This is him right here. This is the guy that with the brown around the eye. You got a what we call a greenback thrush. It goes back through the back. There it is, and that's a picture of them. There's a wood thrush. There's a hermit. There's a very great cheek and Swainson. We have the Swainson thrush in our hand. The Swainson thrush takes a one B band. So what I do is I go up to my my bands, and I, there's my one Bs right here, and I take out a one B. Okay, and I do the same thing. I open it up. Kimberly, you got that number? Yes. Okay. And I take that one B, and I put it on the left leg. Okay. Range. Okay? Well, I just want you to pick your hand up. Right-handed. There. Put, your, put these fingers together, and your thumb right there. Swainson thrush, gray catbird. Okay, now let's see what else we got here. Nice thing about this, you never, you never know what you're going to catch. Yeah, it's all crouch. <laughs> okay. Wood thrush. Not a happy one. Not a happy one at all. This wood thrush, right here at the top of the page. Mm -hmm. Is that one with all the bold spots on it and, and the rust color? Yeah. No, no green back? That's a wood thrush. Wood thrush is right here in my book, and I think it's 755, Kimber, let me, let me see here. 755 takes a 1A band. I get a 1A band. Mm -hmm. you there? Hold on to that joint. There you go. You can hang on to them. And they can breathe. They can respirate. They, uh, they, they, uh, they just can do their thing. So we, we, we got everything that we want to have done. Um, if you got any questions, we'll do that and we'll start walking out for 10 minutes too. Just throw, throw them right out through here. Or just just give them a toss. There you go. Okay? These other ones, these are okay. Those guys are not too bad. Get out of them. Yeah. Go ahead and let them go. There you go. Effortlessly shooting. Very. <laughs> did you notice how he just nonchalantly goes up there, you know, breaks it? Hey, after a while you get to relax. All right, this is a relaxing game. There's no tense nerves. All right.
Nice shot. That was a beauty, okay? <laughs> no fear of memorizing, Tank. Any of your side. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good that he doesn't just take off out there. Oh, you know. hey. he's, uh -oh. he's trying. <laughs> Tank, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> Let's go and have a good time. Um, I guess that's a be safe and enjoy yourself and watch the dogs and everybody else. And I'll come up with you and tell you, you know, get up. When your dog starts working, get up close to your dog, close to your dog, and I'll be better. And you'll just take a few minutes. All right. Hey, my name's Walt. I'm Ryan. Ryan? Yep. Kenny. Kenny, nice to meet you both. Hey. Okay, hey. let's go. Yeah. Ready, John? <laughs> <laughs> and the dog's name is Tank. Tank, yeah, we heard. Okay. Oh, okay. Kenny, who's shooting first? I don't know. Yeah, he's a point. I don't have a point. Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> yeah, I got to do that. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, you're telling me. Yeah, that's it. I told him not to get high. Okay, who's shooting first? Put him right. in. You are? Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky. I, you're lucky I got shelves. You know? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. Safety on one yep. shelf. Thank you, Walter. 
I'll put all my 20s back and I'll put all these back in the return. Well, time's wasting. Who's first? Are you already loaded? Yeah. Okay. Now, here's how we're going to do it. 4D works a little bit differently from the lab. It pretty much goes like this. When the student drops his head, he's real busy. Um, I'll mention it to you, but you'll catch it. Okay. Whatever else you're doing isn't important. All right. But I want you to be right on my left shoulder. I don't want right. you behind me because I don't want that gun barrel to go off in my ear. Yes. Okay? And uh, have fun. All right. If it's brown, it's a hand. Heel. No shoe. All right. Heel. 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 Okay. Good. Oh. You see that orange ribbon there? Yeah. That's more or less. Hey, Kenny, nice shot. Okay, make sure the gun is open. I know it's empty. Let's let him do the retrieve. Way to go. <laughs> that bird had nice every chance dude. to go the other way. <laughs> he did. <laughs> that was a rush. All right, exactly. Very nice. I'm going to go Thank help you. the dog. You stay here. I thought you had your best shot when it was coming straight. Oh, here. me too. That's why I thought you were going to hit it right there because it was coming right straight at you. Mm -hmm. No, I, I couldn't get, like, the, I just took the safety off right then. Because oh. I put it back on because I saw it go down because oh. it was too low. I had to turn it back off again and I started swinging while I was turning it off and I got, I got shot off of the windows right over there. <laughs> yeah, you smoked them, dude. <laughs> yeah. I saw the feathers flying. I'm like, flying yes. everywhere. <laughs> I, I saw the feathers fly and I saw his head tilt down, so I go like, yes, I'm pretty sure I got him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did too. Yeah, he might, he might <laughs> still be running him. in there, though, tell you the truth. What? He might still be running in there, that's why he's having a hard time finding him. I think he was further, that's the thing. I, yeah, he's up on the other side of the high grass. Yeah. And I'll just it went down. Area. I seen yeah, it go down. It did. It looked like it was dead. Yeah, I think he's, he's got it now. It looked like it was going. The dog's got it. <laughs> Good, come on. Yep, it's definitely. Oh, there's another. <laughs> that, little yeah, oh, that little dog. Yeah, that little dog is neat. <laughs> that little dog is neat. What a beautiful bird. Look at that thing. <laughs> now, you, you, didn't, uh, you didn't wound it. Wow. Better than Dodo. Very nice shoot. Good for you. Congratulations. First one? Yeah, congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Your turn. Way to go, yeah. Kenny. Okay. All right, now, that was the first ribbon. And yeah, we got another it. one. Can you see the one yeah. up there? We may encounter another bird on the way. It's a hen. The gun can come up, but no bang. Okay. Stay right on my left shoulder. Ha! <laughs> doesn't have to be up behind. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on. I'm just happy it's not as bad as uh, the hot potato ones that we were for a while. Come on, come on. Very good. Very good. No bird! No bird! You see those ears just flying up through the brush. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's good. still gone. No bird! <laughs> He'll be back in a week or two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, way to go, guys. That was really nice. Yeah. Hey, you look like you had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like it. Yeah. <laughs> we had to walk him through every little bit of it, even pulling the trigger. <laughs> I just made him carry it back. Yeah. Hey, get all these guys together with their presses. Take a picture. How'd they do? Hey, 
We got them. Nice. So the last the last crew cleaned the fields. <laughs> Right off the bat, didn't let it get right on top of you. Uh, it flew over. No, it, uh, it flew over my head because it was uh, it jumped down. It yeah. was too low. I turned my safety right back off, and then it jumped up back at me. And it was coming right at me. I turned my safety on and turned and get out of there. Yeah, it turned and then he got it going away. Very, very good. Thanks. All day we've been here and they're getting two for 18. <laughs> That's what they, in the far end of the pond. That's when they were, this morning, they were two for 18. Oh, really? You guys are just incredible. Wow. Must be genes, good genes for the father, probably. <laughs> sure, you can say that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you guys do a heck of a job. <laughs> <laughs>